I'm setting up this game and as you can see I've got a nice big area of green and I've got this chap here the octopus now I want to make the octopus a baddie now we all know from before that we can use the arrow keys and we can program something to move but how do you get it to move on its own well it turns out that there are a couple of ways so I'm going to program my octopus and the first way is really 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 simple all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on more here and I'm going to click on always so he's always going to do this action and I'm going to say move and wander like this and when we run the game we can see that he just sort of wanders around the place never a care in the world lovely and we can get him to wander around at random that's fine but sometimes we want our enemies to stay in one place or to patrol an area so I'm going to program him instead and I'm going to say move and instead of wonder I'm going to say on path now we haven't got a path at the moment so I need to create one using the path tool so I'm just going to click click and click and then press escape using the path tool here and what we'll see is as soon as we run the level he wanders up the path and then he goes round the corner and he'll get up to the end of the path and what he does then is he turns around and then he comes so you can make walk back and forth just like that now when making a path also make it so that you can uh, move it around like this and if you right click you can also change the height of particular nodes like that I'm going to add more nodes here and if I click node to node on the last one then actually when I move this I'm just going to make it a bit smaller so we can see it you'll find that he goes now just round and round and round and round just like that and he'll just keep on doing that forever and ever and ever you can also do things with paths uh, which is changing the path style I'll show you this now so if I select the path you can see up here oh it disappears when I come off the path so you have to look up I can change the path with up and down so it actually can put some physical into the level under the path Now this is kind of useful for making features in our level, nice vent silly, uh, can also be used to make a feat interesting. So that's off and then when I run the level and see it's there, actually if I change the height of this node and make it higher, well maybe not that high how about that high then when I run the level what will happen is it will create this 3d sort of shape here so you can create quite complex walkways and this kind of thing using the path tool and you can get your little beasties to follow them have a go with it and see what you can create